It's the first day of summer. That means it's time to garden and even <laughs> give uh, flowers as gifts because yes. they're so beautiful right now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You remember her, Maribel Herrera, our floral designer, our friend here at Fox 5. Hi. It's so nice to see you, it's first so of all. It's so nice to be back. Yeah, Thank you so much I'm for like having me. it's been a while. I know it's been a long time, <laughs> but I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> yes, and what perfect timing because I feel like, oh, it's summer. It's it's warm out. Uh -huh. Like, we can smell the flowers. You they're can. Blue. Everything's oh, in bloom. Goodness. And I noticed that your summer picks right now, mm -hmm. there's a lot of peaches corals, like the mixture of the pinks and the oranges. Right, we have a lot of vibrant hot colors right mm. now. So it's it's hot flower summer. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. we <laughs> want to make it a thing and do these nice, bright, hot, vibrant tones. Oh my so goodness, you'll see a I lot of it. coral tones, a lot of papaya tones, yellows, uh, jewel tones more so. Yeah. So I think that's a fun little twist on this summer feeling. And I was telling you, I'm really into the coral tones right now. Yes. It's really, really Very pretty. Very popular color right now. It really yes. is. Okay, so here's the thing. What flowers are we looking for that are in season right now that are going to be the most beautiful? Right, in season right now, we're coming into Dahlia season. So dahlias are just a super mm. gorgeous, beautiful flower, very popular for um, weddings as well. Mm -hmm. As you can see, these guys over here, these are Cafe Ole dahlias. Oh, um, wow. They're very sensitive though to the heat, which is kind of funny because okay. it's so hot during the summer, sure. but these guys are super sensitive. Um, peonies as well, <gasps> but peonies, them. they're only here for a little bit of time and they're almost on their way out. Oh, so we really? only have a couple more weeks with them, if anything, and that's okay. really about oh, it with man. them. I love them because they're so full. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this. You but can pull I, it out if you'd like to. Okay, hold on. If, if you have, really, there we go. There you go. It's they're just so gorgeous. full. It's so pretty. Yes. This has got like the pink and the white tones. So let me ask you this. I, I noticed as I'm looking through your spread here, you've got fruit. I mean, I see yeah. papaya and mango. There's some peaches. There's peaches. So I have pomegranates under there. I like um, that you you do this. Like a lot of your tips and tricks, like you you tend to put other things in your bouquets yeah. other than flowers. You want to utilize what you have at home yeah. too. It's summertime. I'm sure you're going to have lots of fresh fruit in yes. the house. Lemons, citrus, just herbs, yeah. different things. You want to incorporate what you have going on in your house and just make a merriment of everything. So I wanted to show how you could play around with some different elements, but add it into your floral. Okay, I yeah. like that. And especially, I think, if you're giving it as a gift. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? So you have the beauty of the florals <laughs> and then you can eat. I'm like, then <laughs> you have a, a snack for Yes, later. you have a snack. You are speaking my language, Maribel. Okay, <laughs> I love this. I, I think it's beautiful. I love this. Um, Here's my thing. You were yes. just talking about how these are very sensitive to heat. Yes. So a lot of people have asked us, okay, if we're gardening, if we're picking the, you know, the fresh flowers, how do we keep these stems fresh? Right. Considering the heat. Right. Considering the heat. So the thing during summertime, as soon as these guys hit room temperature, they start getting sad. Um, yeah. A tip and trick that I use is, this is called Crown and Glory. Um, you can find it at local floral places. Okay. Basically, you gotta spray and spritz the top of the heads. They drink oh. water from the top, not just from the bottom of the stem. So like how we get hot and we need a cool down, sure. the same thing with flowers. They need oh a little goodness. bit of a cool down too. So okay. this is always a good little trick to have in your so, home. Okay, so just head out to one of those stores. Yeah. That, okay, and you can find it. Definitely. Crown yes. and Glory. Crown and Glory. Crown and Glory. It's Glory. basically a mixture of water and a little special magic okay. ingredient that helps keep it alive longer. And, and how much longer does it usually stay alive for? Do a, you know? A couple more days. Okay, and it's sure. obviously very, very important that you change out your vase water every other oh. day. And cold water is always a little bit better during the summertime. Okay, yes. every other day. I got yes, it. Okay, definitely. so um, here's the thing. I know, well, are we doing something? Because yeah. I love it. You always have me work. work. <laughs> okay, you make me feel but like you're I so know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> We're going to talk about sunflowers. Sunflowers are also in season right now, as you can see over here yes. how beautiful and bold and mm -hmm. just gorgeous that they look all together. Yes. Um, so traditionally when you go to an Allen's Flowers you can buy a bunch of sunflowers already in a five stem. Sure. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little bit of a trick of using your five stems, kind of arranging them out, getting them a little bit more even. Okay. Um, also, we have a little bit of ruscus, a little bit of greenery. Okay. And all we're doing is tucking it around our edges. Okay. Tucking we just want a little edges. something to put into, I don't know, your coffee table, oh, yeah. your bathroom, anywhere, wherever you feel that you want to do your summer entertaining, mm -hmm. anything like that, the backyard. Um, your desk space at work, your how about desk, that? Your desk, yep, for yourself. You <laughs> okay. gotta treat yourself every day. Yes, and okay. And then, as you can see too, I took a little clear vase and I put some seashells inside of oh, it. Oh, that's cute. So just to give a little bit of a, you know, yeah, a little summer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it a little bit of a look. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, you have, you're perfect. 
All we're gonna do is, we built it in our hand, nice and tall. We're gonna measure it up to our vase. We're gonna take a look at how Can tall. Can you see this? I don't know, we're kind of hiding behind it. Come I'll closer. show you from here. Come <laughs> closer. So we're measuring up that the top of our sunflowers are sitting right on top, and I'm gonna cut down okay. our stems. So oh, a lot of times I see. you okay. want to cut at an angle just so that that, um, you know what, you I can don't absorb. trust myself with these things, <laughs> but I'm doing it. I can help you right now if there you need go. help. <laughs> you got it. It oh, takes a little boy. bit of strength. Oh, these are nice. Yeah. Because I try to use the scissors I have at home. No, no, you need cutting it shears. Okay, the scissors right aren't going to work the same way. <laughs> okay, perfect. And uh, as I finish up with this, yeah. let's show Sholly. Sholly, look how beautiful. Oh, I know. Thanks, Charlie. She did such an amazing job. So here's the thing: if you want more of Maribel's tips and tricks, yes. and you know, making your home look beautiful with the yes. flowers and all that jazz, just go to our website, fox5sandiego.com. Click the scene on tab. Maribel, thank you. Thank I'm you. so glad she, you're back. Happy well, summer. Okay, I'm going to keep cutting. Sholly, I'm going to send it back I never, to you. Oh. I, all the flowers that I get, I try to be her in my kitchen, and I try it, and it never looks like that. One day, one day, practice makes perfect.